Hello everyone! Welcome to my first video of 2024. What better way to come back to YouTube than with a book haul? I'm super excited for this haul because these are books that I have just been eyeing for so long and I've been waiting for either the paperback to come out or the UK version because I love UK covers and these are going to be like my next reads because I've been reading so much on my Kindle and I miss the feeling of a physical book also the smell of it and just highlighting and annotating <sighs> So yeah, let's get right into this haul. I'm super excited. Okay, the very first book I have here is the third book in a series that I read last year and it is A Curse for True Love. This is the final book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy and oh my gosh. The first book was so so good. It did take me a little bit to get into it because I haven't read a fantasy book in so long and I'm like What is going on? But I love the first book. It was so interesting and it was just so cute Then I read the second book and that one Totally lived up to its hype I have never been more obsessed with characters and a storyline. Yeah, the second book was definitely my favorite book of the year last year. I have heard mixed reviews about the third book. It wasn't as good as the second book. It has a happy ending and it ties the story together, so I'm excited. Um, I am so angry right now because look at the size difference. And I got them on the same site and it's just, this is not pretty. This is not gonna look nice on my shelves. It's so awkward, but the cover is very pretty. Okay, the next book that has been on my number one, like top to be read is Happy Place. I have such a love-hate relationship with Emily Henry. I feel like her books are kind of not really my style, not really my pace. I find them to be very slow. I did love Book Lovers. I think that's one of her best books. I have heard so many amazing reviews about this book. This book apparently will make me cry. I really want to start reading this book like right now. It's about a couple who broke up and they have to go on a vacation um, with their friends and they have to pretend they're still together because they haven't told anyone that they broke up. They broke up, what, six months ago. So it's fake dating with your ex. I don't know if I want to cry right now. Like, I don't know. I have been waiting for the paperback UK cover to come out for so long, but it's so pretty. It's gonna look so stunning on my shelves. By the way, I have bookshelves. I don't know how long ago. I don't know when was the last video I filmed where I didn't have a bookshelf, but I finally have bookshelves. I should have started out this video introducing you to my new bookshelf. She's still a work in progress. Um, this is not enough for my books. I literally have a bag of books on the floor that I can't- I, I don't really want to display them because they're like dark romance and just like dark cover books. I have two bookshelves. Maybe I'll do a bookshelf tour when I have her completely decorated and all cute looking. But this is gonna be my next book I want to read, hopefully. Let's see what mood I'm in by the end of this video. I totally forgot I bought this book and now I want to read this next. It's Betting on You by Lynn Painter. Um, if you don't know, Lynn Painter is one of my favorite authors. She writes super cute and super hilarious young adult romance. Highly recommend her if you're into a fun, quick, easy read to get you out of your slump or whatever. I believe this book is fake dating as well, but it's supposed to be a very cheery, vibrant, fun read. I have loved every single Lynn Painter book that I've read and I just know that this is going to be amazing as well. Better Than The Movies is my top favorite book from her and there's going to be a part two. Cannot wait for that. I'm so excited. Okay, the next five books that I have here is actually an entire series. This series has been all over my Pinterest. Pinterest, you guys. That's what my social media has been. Pinterest for the past seven months. Um, Pinterest, I've had some of my book friends recommend the series to me. It's supposed to be like a very sweet, 
um, romance, I think. There's some heartbreak, I'm not sure. But I'm kind of scared to start the series and I feel like I need to not start the series like right away. I don't know which is which, what goes in what order, but I have no idea what the series is called. It's called something. Is it Chestnut Spring series? It's by Elsie Silver. It's it's this. There's hopeless, there's heartless, there's reckless, powerless, and flawless. Maybe it'll tell me the series name inside of the book. The back of the book. Ah! It's called the Chestnut Springs series. I have no idea what this series is about. I think it kind of, it's giving me like country, bull riding type of vibe. It's giving me like the longest ride type of vibe. Um, I love that book. Oh my goodness, that book was so good. I don't even know if this is about like each couple or like their friends or family, whatever it is. No idea. Look how pretty the cover is. Did I buy it for the cover? Possibly. I will find out. I'm going into it blind whenever I do. Um, idea. Maybe I should do a reading vlog on this series. Since I have absolutely no idea what is going on and who these characters are and what they do for a living, I should probably go into this blind and vlog the whole thing. That will be my next video in six months. Okay, the last and final book that I want to share with you is this book right here. My best friend got me a little care package and it has like a blind date with a book and like comfort stuff like socks and candles and chocolates and all that fun stuff and this was a book how adorable that it's pink she had no idea this is a young adult book called give me everything you've got oh it takes place in 1979 she has a crush on her soccer teacher I think I'm done reading about age gap books for a little while. I don't know if this is young adult or not, but um, it sounds interesting. We're gonna go back in time with this book. Okay, so those are all of the physical books that I bought this year. I don't know if I'm gonna be buying any more books because I don't have the space for it. I've been reading a ton on my Kindle. I have a few romance books that I've read and I absolutely loved. Uh, maybe I'll do like a romance reading wrap up. But these are the books that I will be trying to read for the next month or so. Um, I do want to do that reading vlog of the Chestnut Springs series. That sounds very interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope everyone's having an amazing year so far. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!